So tomorrow I'm going to head out to Kananaskis country and try to get to the top of Mount Joffrey. It's one of the biggest mountains out there. It's up over 11,000 feet. It's a huge glaciated mountain and I'm not going to lie, kind of scared about trying this thing out. But from what I understand, uh, the route is straightforward. It's just a hike. The risk right now is of avalanches. It was really snowing over the weekend so all that fresh snow could just slide right off. Especially in the afternoon when the temperature starts to rise. So I'm just going to have to uh, try to get out there as early as I possibly can. And this is a long hike too. It's like a 38 kilometer round trip. And of course I'll be doing it on my snowshoes. Uh, tonight I'm going to air fry up some uh, pecore. It's like a vegetable fritter. So I've got red pepper, onion, carrot. It asked for a cabbage. All I could find was this uh, vegetable mix. I didn't feel like buying a full cabbage. So this has got a little bit of everything in there. It also asks for rice flour and chickpea flour. I didn't feel like buying all that. I'm just going to try to use all-purpose flour, see what happens. If it doesn't work out, then I've got a steak in the fridge that I can do as a plan B. So we'll prepare the vegetables first. This is one of those rare times that I'm making a meal without any meat in it. Now we want a few tablespoons of plain yogurt. It asks for about a half cup of flour. I'm just gonna slowly add it in until I get the consistency I want. Chili powder, garam masala, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, and some oil. So this is what I came up with and I'll let it sit for about half an hour. I'm gonna preheat the air fryer to 350 degrees. Three minutes. Three fifty, ten minutes, and we'll uh, flip them around at the halfway point. Didn't look like they were crisping up too much. Maybe I put too much yogurt in there. So I cranked it up to 390, gave it another five minutes. Hopefully this does the trick. Well, if you can't make them crispy, just burn them. But they're actually not too bad. All right, let's try these out. I got this spiced tomato and vodka chutney. And then some sour cream, that might be good on them too. These are really good. I like them. I'm just trying not to think of uh, meat right now. Well, I'm going to finish eating these up. Then i got to relocate myself as close as I possibly can to the trailhead. I'd like to be out there on my feet by like 4 a.m. tomorrow. So, yeah, Mount Joffrey, here I come. I got up at about 3.30, but I still had a late start. Didn't get on the trail until about quarter to six. I was having some major second thoughts about coming out here and doing this. I just like stopped and was scanning the map for other available options, but I decided to come out here. If something looks really dangerous, I'll just turn around and that'll be that. I'm way off the GPS track. It's up there on the side of the hill. I'm just following this vague ski track that someone made. It's hard to tell if they're going in the right direction or not. As long as they're going uphill, I'm good. Just scooting right along this morning. Made sure to pack in my sunscreen today. Didn't want a repeat of uh, that last episode. Scorched the bottom half of my head to a crisp.
So there's Mount Joffe right there, and I'm surprised. It looks like the glacier is exposed there at the top, and that is the steepest part of the climb, so this could be interesting. So I just gotta get up over this hill, then I'll finally get a clear view of Mount Joffrey. Then I'll be stepping out onto the Mangan Glacier. I feel like I got this one in the bag. It doesn't look too bad. There's some ski tracks going up right there too. It stresses me out to walk on a glacier alone, but this is the best time of year to do it. There's a lot of snow underneath of me. Plus, I was looking at the satellite imagery to see where the big crevasses are located. Plus, I'm following someone else's GPS trek. So I got a lot going for me. It does look really shiny up there though. I'll ride the snowshoes as far as I can, but I might have to switch to the crampons. I tried going straight up there, it was too steep. Not enough snow, I couldn't get a grip on the ice even with the crampons, so I'm just gonna look around to see if there's a track of snow that leads up. So I found a way, I just tippy toed my way up there. It'll take some time to get back down that safely. I suppose I could just slide. <laughs> I'd probably hit 100 miles an hour doing that. So that took eight and a half hours to get up here. 21 kilometers, so this will be a marathon distance today. Perfect conditions, not too bad at all. That was a really good one. Uh, the avalanche risk was really low. The big problem was uh, that upper glacier was just windswept bare and uh, I was really struggling with my crampons to climb up that. So it just took me a while to find a safer spot to do it. I don't know if it was actually safer, but I did get up there and uh, yeah, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I didn't uh, chicken out on this one. It was a pretty amazing hike. So I've had this steak marinating all night and all day. It's ready to go. I'm hungry. Let's do this. I was looking for a lighter to start my induction.
splatter grease everywhere. Nice. I normally put a lid on it, that helps. So when I parked this morning, my battery is fully charged up and I reset the counter on the battery monitor. The only thing that was running was my fridge and over 14 and a half hours it uh, used up 7 amp hours, which I think is pretty good, but uh, it was kind of cool in here, I'd say like 10 degrees Celsius, so we'll see how much that changes in uh, the summer. Things are always changing on the internet, you wonder how long YouTube's going to last. Some people have been saying that I should start up a, a TikTok account. Well, thanks for joining me for another one. Even though I have a lot of freedom in my life, uh, I still kind of follow a routine. Going for a hike, then taking a couple days off to recuperate, uh, getting cleaned up and organized, getting my groceries, planning things out. Uh, it's just like a creative cycle that I got to go through in between videos. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like uh, things are getting serious again, and it uh, looks like my travels will be contained in Alberta for the foreseeable future, but that's all right. There is uh, quite a lot here that I haven't seen yet and uh, I'm excited to explore. We just gotta make the most of uh, what's available right now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and thank you to Patreon supporters and I'll see you in the next one.